Alright, 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 welcome to Uncast Your Freaking Awesome Replays. It is the first game of the Forced Quarantine Challenge. Um, I know a lot of you are going stir crazy sitting in home. And do you know how I know this? Normally we get somewhere between 20 and 50 submissions for an I cast your freaking awesome replay topic. Can you guys guess how many we got for this week? Shout out some numbers in chat. Guess how many for the forced quarantine challenge. Throw some numbers out in chat. Um, <laughs> let's take a quick glance at those. You can see the chat over here. 300, 400, 120, 50, 50, 90, 90. It was 100. We got 100 goddamn replays. Uh, and apparently quite a few of them were cannon rushes. Big surprise. <laughs> So can we all please slap some bacon down in chat? I'm not sure if he's here, but hopefully he'll watch the VOD. It is Fluxy or watched a hundred replays of people containing, which apparently 90% of the time means cannon rushing their opponents. So, <laughs> so guys, slap some bacon down in chat. Show your love for Fluxy or taking the time to dig through and try to find the most action-packed and exciting of the replays. Now that doesn't mean high level, it just means most fun interactions between the players as always so uh let's see exactly what we got of course the challenge here was it was a lot about really trying to uh, we don't know who sent this replay and it could be either ones we'll keep our eyes on it by the way um you're trying to role play basically as a you know a chinese government um you know you're like all right guys we got this dangerous virus shit's gonna get fucked uh everybody you're not allowed to leave your home ever and obviously your opponent is a StarCraft player who wants to go and fucking hit up Spring Break on the map. They want to go down to the park, walk their dog. They want to go have a beer at the pub with their mates. And your job is to be like, no. So we're going to see people trying to viciously contain <laughs> their opponents who are freedom-loving fucking people who don't want to do it. So, okay, I think we're already getting the, the match up here. This drone wants to build a hatch down there, and there's early lings running across. So, I love the name, by the way. His name is Farta, the Blue Zerg player, up against Slider. Which reminds me of Sliders, the greatest television series to ever air. Can he defend? Oh, raise the deeper. Okay, Marines in the bunker. The Zerglings have to go down, but they go, that's all right. We were just checking that you were staying in your place of residence. The Marines are like, yeah, we're here. Like, we're staying in our, our home. What the fuck? Why are you guys so authoritarian and crazy? Dude, like, it's, it only kills old people. It's not that big a deal. It's like, it's fucking fine. Like, I'm not 85 with a pre-existing lung condition. Father's like, no, it's actually fucking serious. And even if you're young, like, you could need to be ventilated to save your life and shit. Uh, sometimes you have 20% reduced lung capacity. It's a serious illness. Slider's like, you're a serious illness. I want to go fucking walk my dog and I want to go to the pub. So how about you shut the fuck up and let me do what I want? The Zergen's like, mate, 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 you better fucking stay in there. You better fucking stay in there, mate. So good to see a nice contain here from Farter. Really seeing the challenge take down. And so far, Slider, despite not really wanting to follow the conditions and thinking it's all a bit overdone, is up to now being forced to stay in their house. So good to see. Uh, I like that there's a rich gas base being taken behind this. Farter, of course, going to try and, uh, oh, go into some roaches. Hasn't kind of forgot to mine gases there. Is maybe going to siege him with ravages. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh, oh, you just got fined, mate. Don't fucking, why the fuck, what are you doing? What are you doing out here breathing on people without a mask? With fucking touching your face, not washing your hands. Jesus. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully they learn. Their friend just got fined his life. <laughs> They're like, oh, I thought it was a $200 fine, but instead I just saw six uh, Zergling police officers just beat him to death with their nightsticks. <laughs> like, uh, are, we still, <laughs> are we still in the United States of Terran? Or is this some sort of weird Zerg authoritarian regime? I'm not quite sure. Uh, everything's a little bit weird. Slide is a bit... What the fuck is going on right now? He's going to try and proxy a starport to counter. So maybe a Lib or Banshee's going there. That's actually a good idea. Turtled up on one base, get something going. Now, heads up, guys. We do have a new challenge uh, for you guys to play. So, exclamation mark IC far in my Twitch chat anytime. So, twitch.tv forward slash x5 underscore pig. The up-to-date challenge is always there. We normally announce it at the start of yesterday's stream. We announced it about eight hours later yesterday because I forgot and I'm disorganized and lazy. But it is a good one. It is about non-stop harassment. The challenge is spitballs. Harass your opponent even more than that substitute teacher you made cry in the fifth grade. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know, your teacher's on pregnant leave or some shit like that. And then you fucking get this other teacher 
fucking Mrs. Black or something. She comes in and she's like, oh, hello, children. Oh, and she's all nice and shit. And then you just start lying to her. You're like, oh, miss. Miss, why don't you have a wedding ring? And she's like, what? And you're like, does nobody love you, miss? And you're like, and she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> These evil little cunts. And then she's crying. You guys are all laughing and you're, you're refusing to do the work. She says, I want you to kind of get that experience going, but for your opponent in a StarCraft game. I want you to be the most evil little fucking shits you possibly can. I want you to be in their mineral line being like, oh, why don't you workers fucking love you? And then just kill them all, you know? Go and fucking stasis trap their mineral line repeatedly. I don't know, disrupt or drop it. Just be a dick. Essentially, okay, one addendum. I was thinking about how I was going to announce this challenge, have a lot of fun. I think harassment challenges where you're just attacking and harassing and picking off workers is great. One addendum. Last time I did a challenge like this, we had a bunch of people send in replays where they were just like, go fucking kill yourself. Fucking kill yourself, you cunt. Kill yourself. And I was like, whoa, whoa. That's not what I was encouraging, you fucking psychopaths. I didn't say get in there and shit talk your opponent. I, said, I mean, harass as in not verbally. <laughs> I mean, hit their worker lines, you fucking idiots. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. And they're like, oh. But I thought if I like just told them that I fucked their mum repeatedly, like it would be harassment as well. I'm like, it is, but it's not the sort of harassment I'm interested in seeing, you little fucks. So um, just a heads up, don't harass them that way. Okay, guys, you know? Fucking idiots. Um, I know it's a minority, but uh, it's not gonna get picked. And I'm like, oh, but I told someone to fucking hurt themselves. <laughs> I'm like, this is not funny at all, you fucking... Uh. Anyways, um, those banshees are building up. I like that slide is waiting for a second banshee. Oh my god, that's four siege tanks. Okay, I think Fart is coming in. He's like, get back in your fucking base. But Slider, turns out this is indeed the United States of Terran. Uh, bunch of police come in with their fucking 9mm Glock 17s and shit. And they run into the Waco compound over here. Um, this is some fucking crazy shit. Was it Waco? Mako? One of those. Uh, <laughs> whatever that crazy fucking one was in Texas. You guys know what I'm talking about. And it's just like, okay, this is not a good idea. It is Waco. Good, I got it. I got it. I was like, Mako is Final Fantasy VII. Because it's not Waco reactors in a Mako compound. It's Mako reactors in the evil post-apocalyptic Final Fantasy VII future from the, the Shinro Corp, right? Getting those two a little bit crossed over. Um, nonetheless, this is not what you want to attack into. These people care about their freedom. Look, if they want to be in a cult and they want all their daughters to breed with this one fucking Marine, uh, Mr. fucking Gary Johnson uh, direct line to Jesus and the fucking lords of the, the sea, uh, Neptune's uh, direct descendant over there. If they want to do that, that's their fucking freedom loving rights, okay? This here is the United States of Terran and they can do whatever they want. Don't you fuck with that. By the way, guys, I thought we were going to wait for two Banshees. Slider's like, nah, I'm going to make three and cloak and then go. By this point, even though it's going to do sick damage, I, I'm a little worried because the spy is almost done. And it's like the lair's finished now. There's going to be uh, more opportunity. Let's see. Please cloak. Please cloak. Okay, cloak goes in just before they enter vision. Let's go. All right. The Banshee's coming in here. The, the queen is just going to disappear. Good quick pull on the drones here from Farta, who, by the way, is actually spreading disease, literally to contain the opponent from spreading the coronavirus is spreading fucking disease creep tumors all over them. This is such a Zerg solution. They're like, yeah, we'll spray toxic gas to stop you getting sick because then you won't go outside because you're afraid of the toxic. Okay, authoritarian Zerg fucks. Uh, this is this is a little bit much. Um, three Banshees just ran away from a single queen. That's the first time I've seen that. Okay. She's now emboldened by that. She's like, yeah, get out of here, you dickheads. I'm going to chase you down. It's like, <laughs> are you? <laughs> I don't know if that's wise. <laughs> um, uh, you're, you're literally being able to live only out of the kindness of their heart. Um, all the drones have gone back to mine over here. There's nothing mining in the main, nothing mining in the natural. Muta's finally coming out. The overseers are not chasing, but they've uncloaked. Oh no. Recloak, you can get out. You can get out. Recloak, the overseer's not chasing you. Okay, the Muta's are going to get them all. And the Banshees do go down. A lot of lost mining time, though. And at the same time, though, Slider's got the expansion up. Slider has about 46 fucking siege tanks here. Okay. Uh, he's building a lot of turrets, which is a good idea. 
I'd, I'd actually like to see a turret here because these are unupgraded marines, guys. So marines, uh, you know, you got two two stim shields. That's you can kill unlimited muters, but that's like eleven muters. They're gonna easily beat ten marines if they choose to fight that. So um, we're gonna have to see if the muters realize they can win this fight. Once again, we're seeing a matchup of like the units that that should win the fight running away from the unit that should lose the fight. <laughs> wait, wait, you're gonna push with that unupgraded marines? I mean. There's nothing on the ground. There's like literally three Ravages and nothing else. A Cyclone comes out. That's a little bit random. And uh, okay, Muta's going to camp on the production. That Queen does go down. They are going to make it through this diseased wasteland. And they are just saying, you know what, guys? It's fine. We've heard about the virus. We've heard that if we all gather together in a big congregation and uh, descendant of Neptune, Gary Johnson, the fucking prophet, told us that if we have a big party in the fucking Zerg's base, we can cure it through our faith um so father right now is like dude that's not how fucking disease works i am gonna have to teach you you fucking psychopaths you guys are gonna spread this is not gonna this is gonna become a pandemic of epic proportions you can't just fucking yolo have a fucking fake seizure talk about exorcising the disease and then have it gone that's not how it works slide is like yes it does how dare you judge my faith i can do whatever the fuck i want but uh, this is a little scary right now. I mean, Farda is like, hey, this attacked it a bit more than I wanted it to. More Banshees are grouping up down here, by the way. So Slider still is like ready to hit the main, which has already been fudged. Um, oh my God, Biles, 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 Biles. Oh, 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 oh the, the Marines, Marines. Oh my God, oh my God, where's the Bile? Oh, the Biles went on the tanks. Just needs to overwhelm a single Bane Medic to hit the Marines. And now the Muters are gonna clean it up. Ooh, 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 ooh. The entire cult <clears throat> does basically effectively do a, uh, a death by a cop suicide pact over there. And, um, and Fada here back in control. Uh, more people coming in saying, fuck you, I'll walk my dog. Fuck you, I'll walk my dog. Fuck you, I'll walk my dog wherever I want. Um, hey, it's going to come over. Apparently, they've become draconian. They've said you can't even leave your home for exercise or to walk your dog on your own. Fada's like, no, these fucking idiots don't get it punishable by death once again so uh slider once again is like authoritarian zerg fucks you're evil you douchebags but uh you know what has damaged the economy father's got a lot of money definitely can rebuild but those banshees have been doing a good job what i really like though is they haven't really clued onto the fact that there's no starport in that main and banshees keep flying in from over here like repeatedly it'd be really nice if they went over there and had a look for it but for now just kind of chilling they're uh Yep, just going to go across the map. Why, why, why not? Why not? Um, I like this wall off, by the way, guys. I've always told you guys about my good friend Mick and his wall offs when we used to play team games in Early Wings of Liberty. This does look like one of his full wall offs. This really does. Where I'd go, hey, Mick, are you going to finish that wall? If you go, I do. I've, I've finished it. That's a wall. I'm like, Is it? Is it a wall, Mick? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, do you think that's a wall? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's not even a fucking spike, spike palisade in front of your soldiers. Come on, mate. What are you doing? Fader has now scouted the starport, by the way. The muters are going to head down there and try to catch that raven. Oh, okay. Fader says, okay, your cult is becoming a problem. You keep defying the rules. We're just going to drop in and try and, try and exterminate you. So, okay, they're going to go for the uh, the weapon storage lockers. They're going in, they're diving and kicking in the windows. Unfortunately, they didn't realize this cult is heavily armed. And uh, these marines, they're, they're fighting their fucking hearts out, mate. These two zerglings are like, shit, shit, shit. Can we get, can we get an airlift out? The overlord's like, mm, sorry, we've already left. Meanwhile, the banshee on the other side. Banshee versus queen, the most exciting battle in all of StarCraft. The banshee does of course win she turns and runs at the last second a little bit late that banshee being very annoying a single mutt mutt it's gonna slowly dismantle that starport oh nice banshee micro straight through the spore well played by slider we're continuing to see the height of mechanical prowess here uh of course plus one vehicle weapons and cyclone production the uh still it's got stim but no shields a bunch of barracks is coming out and realizing that uh, if you weren't afraid of leaving your home, if you didn't have agoraphobia before, I think you do at this point as Slider. When you come outside, there's a giant fucking hentai stick there that's trying to just penetrate you. It's shouting, ooh, 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 uh, pillow girlfriend, pillow girlfriend. And you're like, what the fuck is going on? Why is there this purple Play-Doh goo ground everywhere with these disgusting fucking tumors? Mate, I thought you said you were trying to protect me from the disease. Uh, Fart is like, 
Yeah. By using disease, we will stop you from the disease. The logic of Zerg players continues. I mean, it's a race designed literally by Abatha, a guy who gave their most powerful hero high heels so that she could fucking not run and she had to strut around the fucking battlefield while uh, like eradicating entire armies with lightning and shit. And he's like, yeah, but I'll make it so her butt looks nice and she has to kind of strut. She can't really run, otherwise she might like fall over. And you're like, okay, Abatha, you're a fucking neckbeard. You, you fucking weirdo, seriously. Um, four overseers come in, one contaminate does go down. Once again, I love this. It's like, don't go outside your home. Look, look what'll happen. A fucking giant poo monster will attach itself to your face and it'll, it'll hug you. To be fair, this command center is so sick of this social distancing shit. I think it's just happy to have the love and affection of someone touching it. <laughs> Even if it is a goddamn gigantic poo monster clinging to it. Let's be real. How many how many people out there right now would probably be like, I could use a hug. <laughs> I've been stuck in my home. I don't have a pet. I wish I had a doggo. <laughs> if a poo monster decided to hug me, I'd probably be okay with it at this point. <laughs> I'm really fucking starved for human affection. Um, I like this marine attack out here. This is this is literally the suicide squad. They're like, yeah, just 20 marines, no medevacs, no tanks, no mines. We're just going to go out there and, you know, fucking hope our opponent doesn't eradicate us with banelings or anything. Meanwhile, Tharta going for the most efficient composition of Roach, Ravager, Muta, Baneling, Lurker. Um, this is what I call the I'm a confused North American player who wants to go a little bit of every unit at once. Fair enough. Um, you guys ever try to micro Roach, Ravager, Baneling, Muta, Lurker? You don't. You just fucking throw it at your opponent and see what sticks. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully a lot of it dies so your composition starts to become a bit simpler and make a bit more sense. Nonetheless, I guess right now that's a bit of a ground poundy army. Muters fly into turrets and get dicked. Oh no. Slider. This cult has actually set up some massive weapons. Unfortunately. Whoa. That's not a full wall. Oh my God. I, I could have sworn that was a full wall, guys. I, I thought that game was going to go a lot longer. Um, okay. Jesus. What the f- <laughs> ah! Oh my god, let's let's get a little rewind of that. Um, first of all, let's do it from a sliders camera. <clears throat> Still had not got rid of the creep. I had this giant marine attack just chilling on the north Base of the map. And these muters come in. Sliders like, haha, you will meet your end, muters. Oh my god. Um, of course, you can see on the minimap the Lings and Banes are running into the natural. It looks up there, is like, ah. Oh. Raises the depots, puts the Marines in the wall. And do we even catch the Marines walking into the Banes? Nope. Move commanded the army up there. Ah. Oh man, like, I just love the way the Marines were being moved around and they were being right clicked, so. Just, just to select these marines, you can see they've been right-clicked. Some Oh, no, he attack moved. He did attack move. I was like, how do you right-click in that scenario? How stupid are you? He's not. He misclicked on the, on the buildable plate on the bottom. People often ask, they say, Pig, why do pro gamers and, and high-level players always kill this plate? This is why. Because they might, in panic, aim move back to their natural in the middle of a fight and accidentally click on it. Which, rather than giving an attack move, ended up giving this entire army a uh, go kill that plate command. <laughs> so obviously they... <laughs> I, don't, I, I think they still would have got wrecked because it's so many speed banes. Don't get me wrong. But it's just like, could it have been any worse? We're going to go into slow-mo here. And they're like, we've got to go kill those plates. We've got to go kill those plates. The hilarious thing is Slider was absolutely back in this game. So if these, there's 20 Marines there in case you guys can't see. 20 Marines in a cycle. If they were here, the other guys were here. If, By the way, I love how there's like, this is a full wall off on the third as well. It's the same full wall off. <laughs> this is literally my friend. I swear, Mick, Mick, if you're out there and you're playing on an account called Slider and you started playing StarCraft again, dude. Um... Please never stop walling off like this. This is amazing. Just three depots there. <laughs> three depots. <laughs> oh, what a shit show. 
very, very nice. What, the, 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 those are to stop uh, bunker and pylon wall offs. So the reason these exist, chat's asking, is because otherwise people used to wall off with bunker, 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 or pylon, pylon, pylon. And then they just like cannon rush or run marines in there. And it would stop you being able to even pull workers down to defend. Um, if you go back to 2010, before they started doing this as standard on every map, a lot of games were rushes with cannon rushes or bunker rushes where a worker would just come in. So there was a whole matter of you had to keep a worker patrolling on the bottom of your ramp to block it. But then they'd bring in two probes and they'd kill that drone before you could get another drone down there and then they'd wall off. Or they'd pull two SCVs and, and build, build the bunkers quickly. So you'd have to like scout ahead and instantly pull like five workers to block them getting the wall off on the bottom of your ramp. It was, it was gross. It was brutal. Um, shout out to Farta there for containing Slider. Uh, it turns out the cult there did indeed, you know, uh, the, they basically had predicted that uh, the apocalypse was coming. They didn't realize it was apocalypse by unbuildable plates, but in the end, they do end up going down. Probably shouldn't have kept congregating quite as much as you did. But uh, hats off to Farta for containing the disease with even worse disease. Literally spreading creep all over the base, contaminating, vomiting acid, and exploding baneling acid on the faces of the opponent. GG, well paid.